that statin reduces um, cardiovascular events and it was clearly known that statin reduces cardiovascular events, uh, major cardiovascular events and reduce the cardiovascular mortality also. Now this particular meta-analysis which I am putting it for you involved 27 randomized control trials and nearly 175,000 patients and there was tremendous reduction of LDL cholesterol and it resulted in a uh, relative risk reduction of nearly something, uh, something like uh, you know, 10 per 10 all-cause mortality also was reduced indicating that more intense regimens resulted in 15 percent further production proportional reduction that means more you reduce the cholesterol you get more benefit out of therapies and this was published in Lancet just about you know a couple of uh, few years ago this complex slide uh, brings out the fact that uh, statins are useful in both secondary prevention and primary prevention. The slope of the graph that you can see is more powerful with the secondary prevention when compared to primary prevention. That is understandable that the secondary prevention trials involve the patients who already have established cardiovascular disease, where primary prevention patients did not have, uh, you know, established cardiovascular disease. In other words, people who have higher risks do benefit much more than the people who are not uh, suffering the vascular disease as it. This particular slide shows clearly that while the blue uh, bars are the benefits out of statin therapy in various trials which have been seen here, these are moderate degree of statin therapies, not the high intensity statin therapy. You can clearly see that at the bottom, the yellow bars, that there is a, you know, a significant um, uh, residual risk in the prominent lipid trials, indicating that while statins are good, they may not be great at that moment. In fact, HDL uh, increasing therapies were introduced, but they fell on, you know, wayside and newer molecules may be available, but they continue to be expensive at this moment. So ultimate universal altruism, according to me, will be that the patient's uh, decision will have to be uh, kind of uh, uh, shepherded by our own counseling to the patient and the patient should decide, um, you know, along with the physician and how it is going to be uh, useful for him to take these medicines on a long term for the prevention, not only in the secondary prevention, but also in the primary prevention program.